Welcome back! I have to say, I like Boom ID's draft a lot more. Like, sure, Mineski has that last pick OD, and um, the Sven and the Razor really will be bursted down by that Santi's Eclipse as the game goes on. Patient down mid every now and again. But if that OD does go behind, it is a bit hard for it to catch up. Well, luckily for us, Sean, we will be able to get into this game, and we'll be able to find out what's going to happen, Arjit. A lot of battle levels there, very nice to see from him. Start spamming it out. In fact, the cooldown of level 1 imprisonment is not great, so... It is something that Mikoto can play around, and he is certainly maximizing that. FPZ will end up being the first blood here for the side of Mineski. Meanwhile, bot lane, Kezcute is getting chased down, and it looks like he should be dead as well, though, KP. Trying to go for the loop around, it won't even matter. He wasn't too hard of a kill. Meanwhile, Kezcute being chased down by Raging Potato, and a nice body block with the trains. Kezcute probably going to end up falling here, and he will be effective on this map so far. He hasn't even done a rotation out yet, so still a lot more to be done here. Oh, FPZ as well, going down just a ninja boogie, pretty much. Here. They are going onto KP, though. He has Ghost Shroud, but he doesn't commit it yet. Now he will, but they are making the chase KP. Can he actually survive this? Fervian has another stun in a four seconds or so. It looks like they will not kill off KP, though Kescute continuing the chase, but now KP will turn around. Shouldn't be a kill here, though, KP. Fortune Zen purifying flames as well. Kescute looking for one more purifying, and he does get it. Joe Cam still turning around onto Raging Potato, and Raging still trying to find this kill onto Joe Cam. Though it looks like he will not find it, and he may have given his own life away. Raging trying to go for the TP, but the Fortune Zen again from Kescute. Oh. I mean, this is definitely what Mineski up uh, needs to do so far, and they are doing quite well, and good attempt from Koto to try to find that kill, but they'll only get the MP. Oh, they will indeed. I mean, Moon had a pretty rough time in lane. It wasn't as dominant well, as you think over Mikado. Fervian getting jumped right now. There's four heroes. Reaper Scythe comes out of the... No, Fate's Edict will block the Scythe, so Kescute at least helping with that respawn timer, though now he's going to be chased down. Mineski will ignore him, and instead, of course, they will go for that T1 tower once again. But now Makoto trying to defend for his team. He doesn't get the greatest static link. Joe Cam is there, however, to help Arjit. Will end up going down. That's his first life. Nice Fisher comes out from Joe Cam, though. Makoto is still being chased down. Bates Edict will be there, but it will not matter. Now Joe Cam will be chased down as well by Mineski, and they are just all around this Earthshaker. He does not have a TP either, so he's just going to try and juke them out a bit. And it looks like he is eventually going to die from that death pulse. They will get the T1 tower. Joe Cam still alive somehow. Ninja Boogie not going to let him go. One more right click will do it. Joe Cam does buy a TP, but it's on cooldown anyway, so he will end up losing his life. And instead, they'll rotate down bot, though. Fervian going to get caught out. KP scouts him out with the invis. Arjit, of course, has the stun to follow up. Reaper Scythe's available anyway. Fervian, one more right click. And there you go. Reaper Scythe will finish the job off. You see Kezku try to TP in to get the Fates Edict off in time. Right now going for that final T1 tower. And again, Moon is just free farming. Now FBZ, he's going to get chased down. Arjit with the Inkswell should be able to find FBZ though. False Promise does come out. Now they'll actually go for a chase onto Raging Potato and looks like they will find him in the end. There's also a nice fish there from Joe Camp. To they are looping around from behind Mineski. They want to set up for this T1. Arjit, of course, has the reincarnation, so he's happy to run in and risk his life. He does go straight on to the Lesh Rack, though Faint's Edict will be there to protect. Now they'll get started, though Sanity's being dropped by Moon straight away. Reaper Scythe as well, though Faint's Edict and False Promise will protect the Razor. He probably still will end up losing his life. Now they'll chase Kescute as well, get rid of that pesky Oracle, and it looks like they will do so pretty successfully. They already found Makoto as well, and the T1 Tower, there's just no saving it now. Four batterings in 15 minutes for Boom ID. It's not a good sign then. Ooh, Makoto gets jumped mid lane. Gonna cop a lot of damage. Fate's Edict is there, but what does it matter? On any any of your initiators, so this might just go down to Mineski uncontested. It does seem like they need to defend. In fact, they're gonna go for a team fight from Mineski's yet. They don't even want to take the Roshan, though they do end up losing Ninja Boogie. That is not a great start. KB now gonna be chased down to FBZ. He wants to go for this, though he's copying way too much damage, but False Promise will save him for the moment. There is an Astral that came out though, but they get the reincarnation life. FBZ now back in the team fight, but he's gone. Makoto, Fervian, they go in. Sanity's Eclipse though will end up finding Joe Cam now as well. Fervian not really doing much damage at all. And he has to back out of there, and Makoto, he was the same. 
Looks like Moon will end up finding FBZ on the on the buyback, but he might end up losing his life. KP moving forward after Makoto, but they found the Leshrac and they'll take him down. KP now though losing a lot of HP, but what does it matter if you can't finish the job? Man, just not having that response to the push. I mean, something like a Jakir would have worked well. I think that was really the key to the last time we saw this combination. Arjit, gonna find the Razor. They do Soulbind up the Sven, and of course, the Oracle, and well, False Promise isn't even gonna come out. No, it won't. He doesn't get it off in time. Fervian now getting chased down. Inkswell will stop him. And I don't know about this one. 4 Boom ID. They've lost Makoto as well. Moon ends up finding that kill. And it looks like probably gonna have to sell something off. And he does go pick it up now. This surprise reveal could be what they needed. A lot of trains and skeletons there, but how does he find it? Arjit gonna run in. There is a Soulbind coming out onto Keskude and FBZ. They've already lost that mid racks. Okay, cute. Might get caught out. Moon, he has a four staff available and he does go for the Astral. Now, Joe Cam and FBZ are there if they want to help out, but it looks like they probably will just let him go. Reaper Scythe will get the job done from KP. Now, bot lane. They are going after that Earthshaker, but the blink does come out. Unfortunately, he does get Ooh. caught by Arjit. The Sprout gave the vision. Joe Cam now does lose his life, and like you said, he has no buyback. Arjit just way too quick on the fingers. Well, that is not great news. Look at FBZ mid lane. He's all alone now. Uh, actually, his team are backing him up soon. Joe Cam looking for an attempt. FBZ gets jumped on. There's the Echo, but it's not going to be enough damage. In fact, it's hardly anything. The Sanities gets dropped. Makoto's gone as well. They've lost three already. Now FBZ, he's gone as well. And what the hell do you do if you boom ID? Except call good game. And they will. And you can't blame him. Fervian, he'll pop the God Strength, but... He's anything but a god right now, John. Reaper Scythe will take him back to heaven. That's a full team wipe from Mineski. And, and even then, it takes a lot of resources to make the storm big. We have seen storms with really good starts. And that gearing up after the initial item of maybe the Kaya really pump up your output until you get something bigger, which takes a while for the storm. Let's see how it all pans out. These are 2046 battle levels on Ninja Boogie. I mean, Mineski, they wanted KP up against Spectre, whereas Boom ID wanted that battle, although Ninja Boogie will get caught out bot lane. And watch out if you are playing this route right now. KP, bot lane, gonna get chased down. He does not have Ghost Form up yet, so there should be another kill going the way of Boom ID. They are gonna chase him down all the way. He does waste the fairy yeah, fight. They are doing a fantastic job. In fact, top lane Arjit getting chased down, and they will find it with FPZ. Raging Potato has to be careful. It's not the biggest loss in the world, but it's a huge golden flux that they really needed to help them out, especially the bat. They want oh. to get those early items up. Noon, he's got a double damage. You'll find one in Keskute, and now he'll go up to Joe Cam, and Joe Cam cannot sustain that much damage coming in. Joe Cam doesn't have a TP for another 40 seconds, so here comes the cavalry. Keskud gonna go after Raging Potato. He still has Arjit there with the ghost, or well, the gust, excuse me, but Raging Potato still gonna be chased down. He's been trapped up and he will go down, though. Ninja now will rotate in. Fervian, he's in trouble. There's the cold embrace, though. Joe Cam gonna loop back around with more HP and will go after Ninja Boogie, though. Fervian, can he really survive this? He's hiding in the tree line right now, and it looks like they haven't found him yet, though Ninja does give vision. Fervian still making a run for it, but he will go down in the end Bang at the spot. Actually, bot lane. FBZ. Be very careful with that uh, that bottle, but he will get jumped up. Noon gonna find him and KP will reap his scythe. KP. Gonna be chased down in the bot lane, FBZ, trying to find the last soul attempt, and he will find it, but the ghost form was also committed as well. Now Fervian comes in, KP's in massive trouble. Arjit, uh, though, gonna start stealing creeps. In fact, they found Ninja Boogie now, though he does throw out the stun. Arjit's uh, still available with the gust, and there is a Nature's Property being in, though now KP as well will join his team, and they are gonna go after Makoto. Rolling Thunder will not come out. Reaper Scythe will get the job done, and now they want more. Joe Cam is gonna be the target. The Sprout has been committed, and Joe Cam cannot sustain that much damage. Find a pretty nice kill with the Lasso. See how much advantage they take care of this. They do go under Ninja Boogie. The Flame Break will not connect, and now Moon zips in. They still have the Lasso, but Vortex will come out. Moon cleans him up, and now Joe Cam, he can't even find the Vengeful Spirit. He had him. Honestly, not 
too off the standard for Spectres that have a rough start. Lasso top lane, but they have help there. Raging Potato, though, will end up losing his life in mid midway. There is a Raging Potato, excuse me, a Rolling Thunder. Ninja Boogie will end up falling down. Moon does manage to get away. So Boom ID, they do get a very nice couple kills for themselves. Well, top lane and bot lane will be pushed down. Arjit, he'll go ahead and claim the bots he won. And now Winter's Curse is there on Moon. Can they hold him down long enough? Reaper Scythe will be there, stopping Jokam, but now the Echo, it will come out. The Gust is there from Arjit, though they've already lost Jokam as well. They found what they came for, they just want to get out of there safely now. Makoto should be able to run out, though no Sprout is there from Potato, and Makoto throws out the wrong Thunder, but the Swap Ball is there from Ninja Boogie. That is a nice little boot bonus to that team fight with Raging Potato mid lane. Gonna go in, now Moon jumps in as well, though nice Fisher is there from Joe Camp. Makoto just trying to back off. I don't believe he has Rolling Thunder available, and it looks like he will end up falling, and now Keskew, he'll be chased down as well. I think Mineski just don't even care if they have wards. Aegis is there now on Moon and he jumps immediately. Kescute, he gets caught out. The Gus was there from Arjit and he's gone as well. Moon, he wants to chase for more now. It looks like he has found the Earthshaker Jokam and they want FBZ as well. The Lasso was there onto Raging, but what the hell does it matter when you've already lost two heroes? You can make... I mean, what do you do here if you boom ID though? You're so far behind. It looks like they are jumping onto Fervian as well. Moon, he found the Vortex once again. And well, Fervian... They have the lasso if they can find a big target. It'd be nice and they find Arjit though. He does have help around him. Ninja Boogie in fact going to be the target here for FBZ though. Still no lasso. He goes after Arjit but Magic Missile is there and now Fervian. He'll jump in with the horn. Rolling Thunder is nice. Cold Embrace though is there as well. Moon, he jumps in the back lines and he's already found one. They are going after Joe Cam next. He has the Echo and commits it but it's not going to be enough. Makoto trying to make a back off and he does get out but they're going to go for Fervian instead. And that is the much better kill and there's the Reaper side. Oh, it will no. come out. 74 seconds on the Spectre now. That Blink Dagger being needed by Joe Cam. They went for a smoke when they knew he was so close. Raging now though. We'll get caught out by FBZ. So that'll be a nice pickup for the side of Boom. But they might lose more if they stick around. Because Moon, he's oh. coming in. He goes straight after FBZ. Well, FBZ, he will pop the drums. Though now KB's here. They are making the chase. He has nowhere to go. He doesn't have a TP left available though. In fact, no, he does. Oh, he will get Magic Missile up. Yes, cute now. Gonna get chased down. Raging Potato with the Treants as well. Keeping the vision up. They can't catch him without the mana on Moon though. With the Sprout, it should be enough. And Keskew cannot survive that damage. Well, there's the Aegis expiring. But that'll give Moon all his HP and mana back. It's really what he wants. And now they jump on Furby and the Spectre. He can't afford to die right now. But he has no choice in the matter. He's gone. Now Makoto though. Rolling in with that Rolling Thunder. Moon trying to find him. A nice swap is there. But they will not be able to find the kill. And now defense begins. Ninja Boogie. Pretty tanky for his support. Vengeful Spirit. Looks like he should end up falling. And now FBZ. He found the lasso. RG could not get the gust off in time. And well with that. Moon. He still manages to get out in time. Makoto though. Is there. Nice Winter's Curse as well. He can swashbuckle for this kill on the storm. But no. He zips away. It was a bit too late. Kenskewed. He goes down. Now the gust as well. They'll find Makoto. Moon is still alive throughout all this. Now the Reaper Scythe comes out from KP. They found FBZ as well. There's only... Essentially, one buyback that was just expended from Makoto. Good. Zipping straight down to Kensuke. He ran out of mana. The Cold Embrace will be there. Moon, he has to be careful about this. Though Ninja Boogie as well, going after Joe Cam. They commit the Winter's Curse just to try and keep Kensuke alive. And now FBZ, he'll jump in with the lasso. The Radiance also being completed now on Fervian, but is it even going to be enough? Raging, he jumps in after Makoto. He'll find that kill as well. FBZ, he gets sprouted. He has no Firefly. He's down. That's three heroes with no buyback available. And there's the GG call. Mineski taking a very convincing game number one and two. Fervian jumps in with the horn. It doesn't even matter though. He just got the radiance but he's never even going to be able to use it.